Hello everyone, today we have a new Power Query challenge. Let's go to my laptop and have a look. The challenge is quite simple. We have a table on the left hand side containing only two columns. First column for the date, it covers almost three months starting 1st of Jan up to 31st of March. And also we have a column for the amounts. The only requirement is to add two columns to this table. First one containing the running total. And you know for sure the running total is the accumulation of the days. So the second day containing the total of the first two days, third day containing the total of the first three days. And if you look at the running total for the last day, it is equal to the total of the entire column. Not only this, we need another column containing the running total for month, meaning that the running total is being reset at the beginning of each month. So we have a separate running total for January, separate running total for February, and separate running total for March. So the only rule that we have for this challenge is to do it using Power Query. You are free to choose any way, but just do it using Power Query. I think it's not too difficult. However, we can consider that we have two levels for this challenge. The first level is to solve the running total and the second level is to solve the monthly running total. If you manage to solve any of these levels, just send me your solution on the email that you're going to see on the screen right now. And also I'm going to leave it in the description box along with the description that I want you to use for me to understand that you are sending around this subject or this challenge. If you send me your solution, you'll hear your name at end of the solution video that I'm going to post next week. Waiting for your contribution. Good luck and see you in next video and bye.